Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Not Another White Guy, a history podcast, is an exploratory project I'm working on to fill a need that I saw in public education. I'm not sure about the rest of you guys, but growing up I learned quite a bit about Thomas Edison, Benjamin Franklin, and quite a lot of white guys, you know? All important figures of history, of course, but there, I realized there must have been something else, something we were missing. And um, so as I grew up, as I started in high school, was actually my first experience with more world, more global history. Um, and there I started realizing, well, there's more out there. What else is there? And as I ended college, I began reading more historical fiction, a lot more just independently asking myself certain questions about feminism and while well, everybody else was doing their own revolutionary wars or, you know, fighting for human injustices and even just right down to more on the technological consumer level of inventors, people breaking ground that way. There's got to be more. There's got to be more. And so I dived into this project, and before I realized it, I found half a dozen people that I was like, wow, why aren't these people in history books? Why, why aren't they part of our everyday education? I thought maybe this is something to look into and see where I find. So I hope you guys enjoy the journey. It's certainly, you know, I'm not ignoring the contributions that, you know, all of the other, like George Washington, you know, all of the people that we've already come to learn about and read about and memorize all of their dates, where they were born, when they died, definitely not diminishing their contributions, but our goal here is to open up and kind of shake things up a bit and share the stories of people who've kind of been put up on the shelf in a box in the back of the closet and shut away from the rest of the world while perhaps somebody else took credit or they were glazed over for some other advancement. The need for Not Another White Guy actually came from a personal desire on my part to um, connect back with something educational to keep me sane. My background I have a Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration with a minor in Anthropology and Sociology. And what I absolutely loved about school and doing research and projects was being able to look through all of the details, all of the little stories, the letters that they wrote, you know, the different government documents, the different books, all the different first and second accounts. And really piecing together their stories, people's stories, it could be like different events, different wars. And my real passion is in anthropology. And I wish I discovered anthropology sooner. Because when I was younger, I didn't have a real affinity for history. The way history was presented to me was all this memorization of timelines. To this day, I have such a negative response to the Stamp Act. Just because <laughs> in school they had us memorize this like 13 part table of events. It was just so drilled into our heads and we had to take these flash quizzes over and over again. It's that side of history that I don't care for. The side of history that I love is the part that connects these stories, that connects these details to living people. The part of history I love is, what did they wear? What was their daily routines? How did they get to be who they were? How did they get to be the governor? How did they get to be the president? Or how did they get to be all these things? Who are their families? You know, all of those sorts of things. And um, I only discovered the side, the physical side of history, anthropology, if you will, when I was in college. That's the part that I really resonate with. The part that is like relates to like the cultural his the physical history. Not so much the who did what at what time, the succession of kings and queens, 
uh, who took over and when, but who the people were, what their loves were, what their desires were, who were their families, what were their weaknesses, what were their strengths. And that, to me, really connects all eras and all peoples and all times. And there's so much from our own history that we forget in so little time. We forget things that happened within a hundred years. We forget things that happened within 50. You know, when I was reading The Help, you know, it's my own white privilege showing, but it was so shocking to me to realize how recently that took place. You know, the, the setting for that takes place in the 60s. And to think about that's within one timeline, to think about all of these things that we're fighting for today, you know, for somebody to come out and say that racism doesn't exist, that slavery isn't here anymore, so what's to complain about? That is, you know, it's ignoring, it's ignoring everything that's not happening within your perspective, within your, what you see. If you don't see it, it doesn't exist. And that's a perspective that too many people take. And that's a perspective that is really troubling, is arguably more damaging than people who are outright violent towards pe women or people of color or any oppressed group. And whenever I reference groups that I mention are oppressed or don't have the same rights as others, I don't mean to put them all in the same basket. So I want to make that clear to everybody that uh, when I reference oppressed groups, I recognize that they all have very different experiences and very different levels of oppression. But what I find is important, and in connecting to the stories of the people that I bring up and not another white guy, the most important thing that I can try to give is representation. And while I don't have a giant platform, and I don't have a lot of viewers, probably none for quite a while, but, um, you know, I can use the skills that I have. And the skills that I have are the ability to research, the ability to read, watch movies, watch interviews, and to try and share the things that I learn about these incredible people that might have been glazed over, might have been uh, gotten their share of the public eye for a period but haven't, in my opinion, received the recognition that they desperately, desperately deserve. And I hope that if just one person really enjoys and resonates with any of the stories that I share, that that's one more person that I didn't reach before. So I really look forward to sharing the stories with you guys that I've just barely started researching, but I've already found such a wealth of powerful, tenacious, and just driven people who history might not have been kind to them, but we have another chance to learn from what they've got to teach us. But yeah, I look forward to hearing some, you know, input from you guys. I'd love to hear people that you think are undervalued in history and maybe a little bit about what you recommend and what you'd like to hear more of. So I look forward to taking this journey with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.